Hello, trolling tubers, and welcome back to Let's Play uh, The Lord of the Rings for the Super Nintendo, with the live chat, of course. We just entered the Trollshaw's cave after stopping by Rivendell, picking up some armor and weapons. So uh, our boy Frodo here, he's got the best armor in the game, I think, and uh, probably very nearly the best weapon. So good for him, should keep him alive and safe. We also recruited Gimli because might as well have an, a dwarf on your side. So we've got lots of people and uh, we've got a big cave to explore. We're heading to the Trollshaws to find Legolas and there's a ton of stuff on the way to, to pick up. So this is one of those single map caves. It's not like there's a ton of loop-de-loops into, um, into like a, a normal area, like an outdoor area. But it's still big enough to be pretty mazy, so I've got the map up to save a lot of time. And unfortunately, a lot of my uh, AI-controlled characters are just going to go wander around being stupid. Pretty standard. I would say, for, for Deciduous Pixel, if, if the Fire Emblem games are frustrating because of the... The planning, strategizing. Like, I don't know if you've got a switch or anything, but Three Houses is definitely closer to Shining Force um, than the old school Fire Emblems because you can you can put it on casual mode, which is no permadeath, and it's I would say probably on par with Shining Force 2's difficulty, give or take. Uh, at if you're not playing maddening mode, like if you're just playing normal mode or something, it's actually a pretty pretty breezy like you can explore the town a little bit like shining force and talk to people and um, I don't know it's not exactly shining force but it might be as close as we're gonna get for a while seeing as uh, the, the studio that did shining force is long gone oh boy just saved it first troll all right that was good we got him what do we get out of it nothing we already had a troll dagger <laughs> Uh, let me check our HP there, though. I don't know how, how bad we, we have to worry about these guys right now. So, Sam, I think, was the one taking the hits. And, yeah, he definitely took some damage. So, with 18 defense, I don't know how many hits he took. Maybe two, maybe three. But, yeah, we definitely have to keep an eye on our health when we're fighting trolls. That was the first troll. Yeah, just like the movies... We all went back to the Trollshaw Caves after going to Rivendell, and uh, because Boromir didn't want to join, and uh, Legolas got lost, and Gandalf... Well, Gandalf was out doing wizard things, so at least that makes sense. Um, on the plus side, whenever you pick up a mushroom, your, uh, your peoples heal up a little bit, so I don't know how much that gave Sam, but, well, a couple HP at least. Have I played Golden Sun? Yes. Uh, I've completed Golden Sun 1 pretty much when it came out. Uh, but then I never got Golden Sun 2. So I actually don't know the ending to the the uh, the two-pack. So I only know half the... Like, it's it's like the whole story is two games. So I only know half of it. And uh, I never would have had the two GBAs to do the link to transfer the save. So then I was kind of annoyed that even if I picked up Golden Sun 2, I would have lost out on... Um, stuff. So then I was mad. And I didn't play it. <laughs> it's another one of those ones on my list that I'd like to let's play one day. So some garbage armor we didn't need. Yeah, it's pretty spooky. Like, this is, these caves are one of the main reasons I thought this would be a good Spooktober game. Oh no, there's other ways to heal. There's, there's lots of items in the, in the cave. We'll find some moss. <sighs> I actually have quite a lot of healing items in my inventory if I need to use them. You can only hold like one healing item of each type. Uh, so north has a bunch of items, we'll go do that. But I'll pick up this little south route. There's a little dead end here. Progression will be to the right, if you remember the big map. Uh, but I'm just going to pick up a little item here in a dead end and then we'll do a big... Oh boy. Come on, kill. Alright, that was a pretty good kill. I don't think he hit anybody. Alright, hit me there. Maybe I should just be, like, parrying. Wow, Aragon took a lot of heat there. 
So we keep getting weapons and armor that do nothing because we bought them back in uh, Bree, which is too bad. Alright. I'm trying to just parry this time. It's not working at all. Now I'm dead. Come on, team. Army attack! Good job, army. So, uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's look at everybody. Sam's fine. Mary's fine. Frodo can probably solo them. And, uh, I'm nearly dead. And that's it. I'm just taking a ton of damage. Great! Let's, uh, have some healing moss. Is there healing moss? That did not heal as much as I would have liked. Used to be compatible with the SNES mouse. Yeah, I think I've heard about that too. I don't know why you'd want to use the mouse for this game, but... Maybe it would make the control a little bit better or something, I don't know. But yeah, the, um... I think... Yeah, I remember hearing something about the passwords. I thought it was just a lot better of a transfer from Golden Sun 1 to Golden Sun 2 if you had the, um... Uh, the link cable or something like that was the way I remember it. Uh, Alright, so what am I looking for here? <sighs> Big loop-de-loop -loop area. Gotta watch out for trolls because they hit... Uh, they hit really hard, as we've learned. Wow. Pippin just... Yeah, we're, we're too strong for orcs, but still too weak for trolls. It's kind of kind of great. I think this is the first cave where you really have likelihood of dying. Everything up to this point hit fairly lightly, but the trolls don't mess around. There's another 4 HP. Good deal. Let's just leave the snake alone. But yeah, I'd, I'd like to, to Lufia 1 and 2 it up one day. Maybe on a stream, maybe a let's play. They're pretty long. They're a bit text heavy. There's a lot of chit chat which definitely lengthens the Let's Play. Um, but they're certainly good games. Alright, so the first moss just replaced the moss I already ate. But because there's moss here... Oh, Lufia. I meant to say Golden Sun. Yeah, we, we already did Lufia 1. We already did Lufia 2 Let's Play. I'm getting confused. It's my bad. Just thinking of all the great Super Nintendo RPGs in that era. Even if... Even if uh, Golden Sun is technically a Game Boy Advance. Might as well be a Super Nintendo. Uh, what I'm trying to say here is that the Healing Moss does heal quite a lot, and it's not that hard to do this. So It just regrows really quickly. Let's do one more here. Maybe one more plus one. There. Mid-dungeon healing... Now I feel a little bit safer. But still, be careful with trolls. Poisonous snakes. Now, unfortunately, Aragorn, or Aragorn, I always, you know, um, he's already like the highest level character, so he's not going to get a ton of level ups to get stronger. He really will need some better armor or something to to really lead safely. Alright, here we go again. That worked out a bit better. Took like one hit. But he hits Aragorn for like 17 damage or thereabouts. Alright, we got another amulet. That's one of the key items we need. Oh, he's back. Alright, team. Surround! Surround? Alright, that worked. Frodo took a hit, but Frodo's got tons of defense. So, he's probably our best tank, actually. As the party found out in Moria in the actual books. Is this the part of the story where they're being hunted by the ring raids? This is the part of the story that the Super Nintendo developers made up. Just carry Frodo as a shield. I mean, that mithril armor, it would work pretty well. Yeah. 
this is the part of the story where the team needs a bunch of MacGuffins or else Gandalf and Elrond won't help them. So we spend a lot of time wandering around in the dark looking for amulets and, uh, and, uh, gems. It might not have been part of the book you read, though. I don't think I went up here yet, right? Oh good, some more moss. At least they give you a good amount of moss, right? Are there wraiths? Yeah, we, uh, in the first stream, just to show it off, I showed how you run into the ring rays and you get killed by them. So, they're definitely in the game. Alright, so this, I believe, has cleaned up, um, one... If, if you think about the main branching paths from the uh, the entrance, this is one long branching path from the main line that uh, resulted in just a couple key items and some garbage armor, basically. But if I head back down, again, I'm, I am following a map here to save us a lot of struggles, but we're on the right path. This was the moss I healed on from the troll fight not that long ago. And we'll just work our way back to the main route. I'd say we're about a third of the way done the cave. It's a crazy cave. Are they scary? I mean, they're invincible and they just kill you. Like, no man can slay the, the Nazgul. Or however the quote goes, the king of the Nazgul. The game isn't really meant to have you fighting stuff like that. It's actually kind of crazy that you can even fight trolls. Like, Lord of the Ring trolls are pretty no joke. Like, it's probably good that they nearly kill us in a couple hits, just to fit the the setting better. All right, so we're on new territory here. Lots of garbage chain armor all over the place that we can't use. I guess if you missed a whole bunch in the Barrow Downs or you never bought it in Bree, but it seems like it'd be kind of hard to get this far with no chain armor. So I'm still generally trying to let the hobbits get kills. Um, let's see which route do we want to go here. We're at kind of a big branching path on my map, so I'm just trying to decide what the best path is. I think I need to go right first. Poor imitation events. Uh-huh. Where am I? No, no, no. I don't want to go that way yet. I think that's the progression direction. Uh, pretty sure. This way will be a side branch that will get me another gem or something. Look at that army. It's it's no longer an RPG. We've turned it into a uh, a uh, strategy game. You just lure enemies into your little hobbit army. <laughs> you never managed to get out of the Shire. Yeah, it's uh, <laughs> it's not kind for for young new players. This cave is much bigger than the Shire cave, though, so. If you were playing, if you got this far and you hadn't started making maps, it would just get worse. So my goal here is to head self, 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 and pick up some sort of key item. Also, a good idea is like when you find a, a troll, it's probably a, a fairly good bet that this is the right path. Uh, I really didn't want you guys to split up like this, but... All right, good parry there. At least I blocked one attack. Hey, a sword. It's a troll dagger. It's garbage. Throw it away. 45 gold. We got four troll daggers. And now we're finding them all just laying around for nothing. Another troll. All right. There we go. We got him. 
And that was, I think, Aragorn getting a level up too, which is even better. I'm trying to like parry. I'm, I, I never really figured out how the parry system worked. I still have not figured out how the parry system worked. Anyway, that's the admin that I figured we should get. So that's one of our key treasures that we will need eventually. Do you remember the Hobbit adventure platformer for the PS2? No, I never, uh, I didn't really play very much on the PS2. It came out when I was a teenager and other than some stuff like Final Fantasy X and I don't know, just a couple specific games. I really didn't play the PS2 very much. I had friends that had a PS2, so uh, you know, you play it over at their house between classes or something, but generally, generally not my console. Alright, once you get them into a, like a, a stun lock chain, it seems to work much better. Am I 29? I am older than 29. I grew up playing the NES and Super Nintendo primarily. So that's where my... Uh, that's where my nostalgia comes from for the most part. So, we're heading north here. I sound young. Well, that's great. I probably don't sound quite like normal because I've got, I'm still recovering from my cold, so my voice is a little bit off, but it usually makes me sound, um, like gruffer or, or, or sort of deeper sounding when you're, when you're sick. Alright, so this is, yeah, the end of my loop. Okay, now we're headed back. So we did this little section here just to get that amulet. Now we're headed back to kind of the central room, which is this way. Trying to visually, or trying to verbally explain a visual, ridiculously complicated map. You know, hold on a second. I don't know if this will actually work, but I'm going to try something. It's going to have to zoom in a fair bit, but... I don't know. You got, it'll, it'll get covered up by uh, the chat. I could probably... Let's see here. Where's my cropping? Where'd it go? Oh no, I see what it is. Let's cut off that bottom line. That's like 20. Just to save a bit of screen space. So. I don't know how easy that will be to see on the stream or the on the ch on the video, but I can use my mouse and I can tell you guys that we're in here right now. We just cleared this section off, and now we're gonna head up along this way, sort of around this way, and then to the end. The exit will be way up here, but yeah, that's this is this is this is about where we are right now. All right, let's keep going. Uh, it seems that might work. Have I played Okami? Uh, yes, that was on the Wii or the GameCube, one of them anyway. Uh, I didn't think I—I I don't think I really stuck with it for very long, but I believe I've played like the beginning of it at least. Just a dead end. Yes. So we are above the two in the middle, right beside the ten, but we can't get to the ten from this side. Although I will use the. Uh, the healing, the healing boss. Alright. I sh can't read the numbers, but that's still not too bad. As long as it gives you a little bit of an idea of where we are, because I think it's... I sh probably should have put those maps on the side earlier if I'd thought of it. That would have been a, a good Let's Player thing. It's just really hard to see what's going on in this giant maze. So This should make it a little bit easier to follow along. Thanks, emails. Alright, so we're heading up. 
big long vertical corridor. This is taking us towards the four, although you might not be able to read the number four, which is probably nothing besides a dagger, but gotta check them all out. I'm actually like one of my compromises for when I follow a map like this is I generally don't look at the treasure results ahead of time. Um, I just, oh, there is treasure there, so I go check it out rather than spoiling it ahead of time for myself. So what do we get? A fern. Well, it's some healing. And then there's one more thing to check south here. And then we've got a big, long, horizontal walk after this. This is just some chainmail. Not really worth our trouble, but... You know, if anyone needed it, you could have two shirts of chainmail, right? Double the chain. This guy's totally a chicken. And he still managed to get first strike on us for some reason. <laughs> Hobbit AI, I mean, come on, what do you expect? And yeah, a lot of things respawn like that, so... As much, like, we had someone ask a while back about healing items. The mushroom didn't seem to heal very much. It's probably one of the worst healing items, but at least all the other healing items respawn, so... It's not too punishing a game, I guess, in that sense. Alright, so this takes us to the little 10 in the middle. Assumedly something important, because it's a higher number. Right, you guys can kill him. Should check my experience numbers here pretty soon. Kind of want my, my secondary characters to get these kills. Come on, team. Like, Gimli getting some kills would be nice. Ooh, it's a sword. It's a named sword. It's better than a normal sword. So we're making Aragorn better. Let's have a quick look at our stats. So Sam, probably getting close to a level up. Mary, maybe. Frodo, probably has a ways to go. Pippin, maybe getting close. Then we got a name sword, so our attack power went way up there. Uh, oh boy, I can't remember exactly what we were at before with the normal sword. But I think we went from, I think it was 16 level plus 16 from the last weapon. So we would have had 32 strength before, and then this weapon is 16 better. So it's a 32 base strength weapon. Which should put it on par with uh, Sting, actually. Yeah, so the name sword is as good as Sting, except it's a sword. So that's cool. Yeah. So we might be able to kill uh, trolls in a little bit less hits. That was a good one to find. That's an important uh, room to double check if you're playing along. Alright, back to our horizontal path. Kind of near the top of the uh, the map, until I scroll up anyway. Characters look like they're based on the Bakshi version. I uh, I have no idea who developed this game or, or why, <laughs> but uh, it certainly is possible. More magic fur. Bats are still a real pain to hit. I don't like them. They're worth like one experience. They do one damage. They just waste my time. Alright, troll time. Kite. Get everyone down here. Keep kiting. Kill. I did take two hits, but all things considered... You know what? I think we're doing just fine against trolls. 
I found a scroll that says something about the gateway gems. Better save it for Gandalf. Oh, you mean the uh, the older um, the older the older animations? Yeah, that could be where they got their inspiration from. Wonder I wonder if the trolls are worth grinding experience. Like, I'm just curious here. This is probably a terrible idea, but uh, 272. See if I can get a kill on Aragorn here. Two hits maybe with a sword. That's a, they have 40 experience per kill. That's definitely the most we've seen from an enemy. And the fact that Aragorn can two-shot them definitely means he could level up pretty quick. Yeah, that's not bad. Like, let's just get Aragorn a quick level up. Is Gandalf playable? Hmm, well, you'll have to keep watching. So far, we've had exactly one fellowship member who wouldn't join. There we go. We got a level up for uh, Aragorn. I wonder if the trolls have like exactly 50 HP. They probably have more than that. But it'd be hilarious if you could one-shot them uh, with, with Aragorn here. Seriously, troll? What are you doing? I, uh... If I was a kid, I would be very tempted to do a bunch of grinding right now. Because 40 experience is five times or just considerably more than anything else we fought. And they're not that hard to fight there. <coughs> You're almost positive that all of them are playable. Hmm. Too bad Bormer said he wouldn't join. But yeah, uh, it's possible Gandalf will join. We still have to find Legolas though. So Legolas is the next uh, target. All right, so there's a four up here, which probably means mushroom or fern. And there's a little thing on the bottom right, and then I'll scroll the map up, and you can follow along. We're, we're getting pretty close to finishing this cave off. Only took one hit that time. Getting better. All right, another troll. Come on. There we go. Good job, Aragorn. Oh, it's just a dagger. Probably a troll dagger. Trolled us again. What? Are you trying to kill me, Frodo? Seriously? Oh, the hobbits are taking on a troll. Okay, Pippin, you need to stop hitting him and interrupting my attack, basically. Alright, let me scroll up here. Man, why am I getting so many emails? Leave me alone. I guess I better see what I'm getting here. Oh, it's just boring junk. Never mind. Don't even worry about it. Anyone who's been following along with the co-op housing story, it's just junk related to that. People who want new fridges mostly right now. And it's not my job. I don't get paid for stuff like that. Alright, so we are... Did I get myself mixed up here? Where am I? Uh, Brazier. So we gotta go left and then south, I think. Boy, it sure is a good thing I have a map. One one thing the map really does help with is... Uh, where am I? I want to go check out... Okay, I know where I am. I know where I am. Yep, yep, yep. We're good. Uh, the map helps so I can, like, keep an eye on chat and not pay perfect attention to my location in-game. And I can use the map to find myself when I get lost. Which definitely helps the autopiloting process um, a lot. I think when we get to the troll shaws, we're going to take a short break, and then we'll probably do one more session before we end the stream for the day. And then off camera, I'll come back in here and just kill all the trolls and get everyone up to level 20. Nah, that's, that's too much work. 
If we find a good spot with respawning trolls, though, with healing nearby, it might be worth it. If there's a place with, like, good healing moss right next to some spawning trolls. Because you need somewhere to heal, right? Like, you're going to take a lot of damage fighting the trolls. And you need to be able to get, you know, some pretty significant healing. Until you're high enough level that you don't get hit or take much damage. Alright, so now we're kind of in the final stretch. Looks like there's still a couple important treasures to get. Was this game released before the Fellowship? Oh, it was definitely before the movies, for sure. This was in the 90s, like uh, 93 or 94, I think. And I believe, technically, the original version of this game was a... Uh, I think it was a Commodore 64 title. And then they remade it for Super Nintendo or something like that. So, like, the originals were pretty old. Like, originally, I believe, it's probably lost in time. But, like, this is part one. And it was originally all three parts with different floppy disks, I think. To uh to work your way through the game to change um, to change through uh scenarios basically, but uh, the Super Nintendo port does not go past part one, and calling it a port is kind of silly because it is like remade. Um, I found a scroll about gateway gems, probably important. Don't miss it. Um, like there's no way the Commodore 64 can do anything audio-wise or video-wise like this. So. It's a Super Nintendo game that was just sort of based off of an older one, I think. But I don't even know if you can find them. Like, I, I had a little look before to see if you could finish the game. It's like, it's not, it's not gonna happen. Like, there is nothing like this that we could find and play through to the end of the Lord of the Rings, like, all the way to uh, Mount Doom or anything. Okay, so that connects up. We go up, we go right. We got one. This is the final sort of horizontal path. There's a couple little side branches to explore. And then we will be done with this cave. Good thing we had a map. Just imagine poor child Ankylo trying to figure his way through here too lazy to pull out his graph paper. Yep, I, I actually think it's a pretty good, like, when I played it first as a kid, I probably would have said it's a terrible game. Like, it's a cool action RPG, but it's too hard. Like, the map, mapping is too hard. But now that there are maps on the internet a click away, it's like, actually, with a little bit of a guide, it's a pretty fun little game. Like, it's not that hard of an, of an RPG in terms of the uh, combat. Um, and the fact that you've got, like, quite a lot of AI units running around killing stuff on their own, that's, that's relatively unique. That doesn't happen too often. Even the Secret of Mana allies, they barely attack on their own either. Like, if you're not casting magic with them or attacking yourself... Nothing dies. Hey, jeweled ring. That's the the ring we need to go back to Bree to turn in for a gemstone. So that's a that's a key item for sure. And that's the exit. I think fifteen and fourteen. Yeah, that's the exit. But before we take the exit, let's make sure we get the last item. Alright, troll time. Alright. I like I like the way the uh, trolls, and the monsters in general, I like the way they turn to skeletons and then crumple and sort of disintegrate. It's a pretty good little effect. Hey, another amulet. Good stuff. Ow. Ow. 15 damage per hit. Now, I think there are also upgraded trolls later on. Like, those are sort of just tier one trolls. I'm pretty sure Moria's got stronger ones. 
So we really might want to do a little bit of level grinding at some point to make sure Moria doesn't kill us all. But um, we're not going to do that just yet. And we're free! So if you look at the map now, we probably start right at point two. So I'm going to take a little break again. We'll do probably, well, for the future tubers, we'll end the episode here. And thanks for watching as usual.